Hi guys, it's Michael G0POT here. I've got a free weekend, so the question is radio or electronics? Radio or electronics? Let's look at the band conditions and see how things are. Okay, electronics. Fortunately, Soda Beams has sent me a little something in the post, so let's open this up and see what we've got. Okay, so here we have our package from Sota Beams. Now this is the Sota Beams Go For Low SWR and Power Indication Kit. As usual, uh, just comes with the kit in the box and this comes in a kit form either with or without uh, an enclosure. Um, download the instructions from the Sota Beams website. So let's get this unwrapped. And what we get in the kit, as I said, I've had one with an enclosure, is standard enclosure with a laser cut lid. It's got a protective cover on at the moment, so we'll, we'll take that off uh, at the appropriate time and you can see the quality of the etching on that. A little bit of packaging. Let's pop that out of the way and empty out the contents. So we have our PCB, very nice. We have screws for the box, our LEDs which Richard has very kindly uh, marked up as red, yellow and green because they're all clear. <laughs> we have our main hardware, it's going to run off a, a 9 volt PP3 battery by the looks of things. Now this is an SWR and power indicator that works audibly. So there's no meter in this but here's a little sounder and it uses a little sounder and the LEDs to indicate both the SWR meter, uh, SWR reading which I think is done audibly and the power level which I think is done using lights but we will see when we get this thing built. So there we go there's all the bits uh, clearly there's Tori to wide wind not unsurprisingly with a um, with a, an SWR meter and uh, so we'll have a, a little go at winding some toroids. So let's get this slot down to the electronics workbench and uh, start popping it all together. I've downloaded the instructions from the Soda Beam website and the first thing they have is a very handy little guide to reading 4 band and 5 band resistors. Uh, the 5 band are a little bit tricky, um, I think the bands are very close and it's very difficult to work out which end to read them from. Um, logic prevails and it will make sense but uh, just in case you struggle um, just use a, a multimeter or so, some other method to measure the resistor just to confirm that you have the right value. Step one is to install four resistors on the flip side of the board, so the side of the board with no writing on it. Step two involves winding two toroid inductors, and this is a fairly straightforward uh, process. Next we install the first of these on the circuit board, and then we make up a short length of coax which is going to act as the primary winding. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole build. This is a, a very small piece of coax and it's very difficult to strip, so work carefully here. So once we've installed the first toroid inductor and little coax primary winding, we just repeat the process again for the second. Here you can see I've used hot glue just to hold my toroids firmly to the board. Next we start installing the fixed resistors on the circuit board and finally the trimmers. Next job is to install all of the capacitors. There are a total of five diodes to fit to the board, be careful with the heat here, and then the two red LEDs, one yellow and one green LED. These should be marked so that you know which colour is which. You can install the IC socket but you no need to plug in the pick at the moment. Next I've installed the transistors and a single regulator. And finally to finish the board, the rest of the hardware. So the two BNC sockets, the on off switch and the little sounder. And not forgetting of course the PP3 battery connector. I also installed a little wire loop 
uh, where it says ground point on the board uh, just to make it a little bit easier when it comes to testing and setting up the SWR meter. After a fairly simple alignment process that just requires a 5 watt transceiver, a 50 ohm load and a voltmeter which can read around 500 millivolts plus or minus 50 millivolts, I removed the protective covering from the faceplate and used the two nylon standoffs and the BNC sockets to fix the board to the cover. When the cover is fitted to the box, the 9V PP3 battery fits snugly between the PCB and the case. However, it's not held firmly there, so a little sticky pad may be applied if you wish. And here's the final result. OK, for my next trick, I'm going to try and demonstrate the gopher low, um, both measuring SWR and showing the power output. So um, I'm going to have to try and set up so that I can adjust the SWR. But to start with, um, basic on off function, just press the button to turn it on and you get the beep beep, uh, an ascending tone. And when you turn it off, you get a descending tone and you'll see the little SWR light flash. If I put my finger to one side, you can see that flash as I do that. Now, when you turn it on and put a carrier through it, you hear an audible indication of the SWR and also you get a power light come on at the bottom there. So you can see I'm using QRP, I'm actually running a little under 5 watts and the light is flashing and the tone is sounding um, twice every second. So that indicates an SWR of about uh, 1 to 1, 1.1 to 1. Um, the SWR indication is given by uh, whatever the SWR is, multiply it by two, and that's the number of beats you hear. So actually, if you think in, in musical terms, if you're, if you're more accustomed to that, an SWR, very low SWR, is going to be two beats per second, so that's about 120 beats per minute. An SWR of about 1.5 to 1 is going to be three beats per second, so that's going to be about 180 beats per minute. And uh, a, a slightly high SWR of two to one is going to be four beats per second, so that's 240 beats per, per minute. So let's just set that up so that you can hear what that sounds like. So let's turn the device back on. You'll notice that it automatically turns off on its own um, after just a few seconds. Uh, in fact, if I just leave it for a moment, it should um, turn off automatically. There we go. But um, so you turn it on, you take your reading, and it automatically switches off and goes into standby mode. So let's turn it on, and I'm going to demonstrate an SWR of about 1.1 to 1. So there you go, it's beeping at about 2 beeps a second, that's 120 beats per minute, and you can see the power is indicating low. So. Um, 0.25 of a watt to 5 watts and I'm, I'm transmitting about 4.75 watts so just under 5 watts at the moment. So that's one to one, that's pretty low. Let's select uh, an SWR of about 1.5 to 1 and see how that sounds. So that's about 3 beats per second or 180 beats per minute. And finally this is about 2 to 1 SWR, so 4 beats per second, 100, sorry 240 beats per minute, and it's just varying slightly. And what you also notice is as we change the SWR, not only does the beep rate change, but so does the frequency. As I scroll through changing the tuning. Finally, at a very high SWR, 3 to 1, it stays on permanently. So the last thing I'd like to just demonstrate is uh, how the power indicator changes as we apply power. Um, now I've only got a QRP transceiver here, so I can't show the full range, but basically at low level we're measuring quarter to 5 watts, at medium 5 to 25 watts, and at high 25 to 100 watts. And what you can see here for QRP operators is that as I start transmitting, I'm using about um, 4.75 watts. 
so it lights the low power lamp and when I hit 5 watts you'll see it'll just pop on the next lamp so it's a really good indication that you've hit the 5 watt mark so let me just fire this up and try that oh that's already on 5 watts there we go so if I just drop it down change just SWR so that it drops to about 4.75 watts into the load then you'll see just the low power light comes on if I just change the SWR slightly on the tuner to get up to 5 watts into the load you'll see that we light the medium light so it just shows I'm on the threshold. Okay so that's the unit in operation. Okay guys hope you found that useful 73s for now get out there and enjoy your radio.